Los Angeles Rams and Chicago Cardinals travel to Ute Stadium in Salt Lake City under the auspices of the Salt Lake Tribune, Telegram, and Bleacher Athletes Incorporated. Early in the first quarter, the Cardinals' Elmer Angsman skirts his own left end for 43 yards and goes all the way down to the Rams' 18. All-American Charlie Trippy from Georgia, now playing quarterback for the Cardinals, fades and fires to Don Paul, who drives to the Rams' four. Emil Sitko, former All-American from Notre Dame, blasts through for the touchdown. The conversion is blocked and the cards lead 6 to nothing. The Rams fight back and make it 7-6 before the end of the period. In the second quarter, the Cardinals claw their way down to the Los Angeles, nine yards. Fourth down, nine to go. Yablonski splits the uprights with a 15-yard field goal. Score, Cardinals nine, Rams seven. The Cardinals are once more on the move. Angsman takes the handoff and punches straight up the middle for 15 yards. Trapuca now in at quarterback. He fades, and Don Paul makes a leaping catch in the end zone. The extra point is good, and the Cardinals lead 16-7. Still in the second quarter, the Rams' Norman Van Brocklin takes to the airwaves, but Fred Walner intercepts, and the cards are once more striking for pay dirt. The Cardinals move to the 11-yard line, then Frank Trepuca fades to pass, loses his balance, and the stray aerial drops into the waiting arms of the Rams' Woodley Lewis. Blockers form, and the Speedy Lewis scampers up the sidelines. He's trapped at the 40, but laterals to Herb Rich, and the former Vanderbilt Flash picks up his blockers and threads his way down the sidelines to complete a 100-yard touchdown gallop. The extra point is good, and the score now reads card 16, Rams 14 at halftime. In the third quarter, the Cardinals pick up three more points to increase their lead, 19 to 14. Then from his own 30, Trippy tosses out into the flat. Angsman gathers it in and is off on a 21-yard gallop. Yablonski picks up 17 more, but when the attack stalls, the versatile Mr. Yablonski steps back and boots a 26-yard field goal to make the score Cardinals 22, Rams 14. In the fourth quarter, the Rams strike through the air, but one of Waterfield's passes goes astray, and the Cardinals are once more goalward bound. Taking beautifully, Trippy hands off to Emil Sitko, who goes through center, cuts to his left, and goes all the way for a 24-yard drive. The conversion is good, and the Cardinals lead 29-14. Moments later, Norm Van Brocklin throws a perfect 30-yard strike to Glenn Davis. And the Rams are only 20 yards away from touchdown land. The aerial artistry continues as Van Brocklin hits Bob Boyd for 18 more and down to the two-yard strike. Mr. Outside himself, Glenn Davis, has the honor, and over he goes to make the score Cardinals 29, Rams 21. Late in the fourth quarter, the Cardinals seal the verdict as Bill Cross, behind a wall of blockers, circles his own right end and sprints 42 yards to give Coach Curly Lambeau's Cardinals a 36-21 decision over the Rams from Los Angeles. <laughs> 